headed to the mall for our New Delhi meet and greet. We're gonna make sure everything's set up correctly, and then we got some stuff to film before. But then at three o'clock, it's party time. It's it's on. So that's the mall. Government doesn't smell like Hajmola. <laughs> we are at the mall, uh, getting ready to go up to see the meetup location. We're here a couple hours early because we got some stuff to do and we got to make sure everything's all set up. But hi, and Jirani's there. <laughs> So they've set up this entire area with my old setup for my old house as the backdrop for our meetup. And then there's this, we got this entire outdoor space. So this is a beautiful backdrop. Look at this, look at this. That's awesome. Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of me. That's there. That's there. Okay. Just don't want feedback. Jenna. Uncle Leo thing. Come on, come This is Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, and Twitter. I don't like you. How are you? Good. Good? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Oh. Yes. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who are we looking at? Yeah, which camera? We didn't know where we're looking. Here? Okay.
हजार ही आप लोगों को celebration song that like Americans think Bollywood, Tandoori Chicken, Gandhi, Cows in the Street, Third World Country. Yeah, and um, obviously it's changed a lot now. And and very few people like like us the, and the main reason is just straight up ignorance. Yeah. Just don't know. And then once we, it really started everything since Gully Boy has been exactly the same. Our experience with Gully Boy was Wow, that was way better than I expected. And then three idiots. That was way better than I expected. And then everything we've seen has just been like, way better than we expected. Honda, Honda, Honda. Oh, the piano playing. Still not getting to the best of all your hair. I know. So we've heard. We're just scratching the surface so far. I know. Hi, my name is Abhay. Hi. And uh, you're probably one of the most followed YouTubers in India. And uh, the time when you came to Limelight was when you did the uh, Tuluk 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 uh, songs for 500k uh, subscribers. Now the way I see it, you have 621k subscribers. So very soon you will probably hit 650 or probably 700k subscribers. So are you uh, do you have any plans of you know, any celebrations as such? Uh, we try to do it every, well, we would love to do every 100,000. We didn't this past 600 because uh, Rick was in India and we had to film a bunch and then we were planning for this and so it kind of just got pushed by the wayside. If there's time, we'd love to do a 700. A Sadly, our, our guy who did our sound for all the, um, the videos that we did, yeah. who did it for much cheaper than a normal sound producer would have, which is why they sounded so good, he's moved. But uh, we, can, we can get to him, he's just, he's in Northern California, um, but we would need to take a special trip to still utilize him. I'm. I would love to do a 700k, and it's still definitely in the sights. 
what we've really been thinking about since like the dawn of time is what the freak are we going to do for a million because we want that to be oh i've, I've had big. ideas we've had big ideas they're just really expensive ideas <laughs> and t-series would copy copy right? yeah that's the only other thing is t-series <laughs> And what is your itinerary for India next for how long are you here? We are in Delhi for the next, uh, we are here, we actually leave uh, Thursday for Amrits. Amritsar? Amritsar. Uh, we're there for a day to see the Go uh, Golden Temple and uh, the border, yeah. Uh, then we leave for Jaipur for a few days and then we go to Mumbai for Holi and a bunch of stuff that we're hoping you're going to like a lot. Uh, but there's a yeah. lot, Wink there's a lot uh, scheduled for in Mumbai. But hopefully you'll enjoy what we what we're having. I hope you enjoy the hospitality in India and have a great time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Hello. Hi. Hello. My question is sorry. Is it true that you didn't find any ATMs in Kolkata? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I actually wasn't. Are you serious? No, I actually didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't actually looking for them. It was more of a. Of a but yes, there's not that many. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are not uh, just looking in the right place. Probably, probably. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I want to know that uh, I know that there are very uh, select halls in the United States where Bollywood movies even have a release. Yeah. But uh, what is the percentage of non desi population who actually go to watch them? That's what? a good good question. Well, that's I, question. I don't know. What's the ratio in the population that actually does go and, and support and see Bollywood film? Uh, it's low. It's very few, and it's Indians. There's there's approximately the last shows. yeah the last statistic I heard was there were between four and five million Indians yeah, and and of that percentage I don't know based on what we've seen at the theaters on opening day of big movies not enough are going to support it yeah but obviously enough that the the studios do distribute it to Los yeah. Angeles because Bollywood movies earn a lot from overseas especially from the UK and it was as well, from Europe as well. Yes. Yeah. It's basically Indians, us, and Jabby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The biggest opening day turnout we had. <laughs> My poor the, skin. The biggest, <laughs> the biggest opening day turnout we had was um, the last one we saw. The last here. one with. with um, uh, Banerjee. Banerjee, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And Gully Boy had quite a big turnout, too. Yeah. But there's been a couple we've gone to, we've been shocked there was nobody. <laughs> we see the comments, it's like, why are you guys alone? There's nobody in the theater with you. <laughs> and they only showed it like two theaters in Los Angeles. Too. So, uh, I mean, the majority of uh, non non desi population in the U.S. still think of that routine song and dance yep. when they think of volume? Oh, yep. 100%. Do you, do you do your bit to educate them? What did you say? Do you, do you do your bit to educate them that it's not oh, song my. and dance? Oh, yeah. Yes. It's one of the reasons we decided we, we did OSR 2.0 for American film because when we started OSR, it was actually American trailers. And we wanted to keep doing American trailers. So we really were hoping that both would happen, that that people, in an American audience, would see us talking. Because when we talk about an American film, we'll compare, the like we'll say, oh yeah, that's Nawazana would be great in that. We don't differentiate, so we, yeah, we want to... Don't, don't compare Indian movies to Hollywood movies, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. It's like 300. So yes, we want... It, it is um, a big deal for us to get people to pay attention to... That's why Parasite winning at the Oscars was really encouraging. To see a film that was not a Hollywood film, not in English with subtitles, win makes it more accessible now for people who can make decisions and pay attention yeah. actually look at films with subtitles and learn in English. I've, I've introduced them to my son. His favorite film is Gangs of Philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, yeah. you, you will pick up quite a few English swear words. Yeah, his first word's gonna be weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know what his first word's gonna be? Not that one. I, Hi. Of all the movies you watched in 2019, do you think that Gully Boy should have been the one who should have been going to Oscar? Uh, no. no. It's it's changed. Well, actually, technically, the movie that we're talking about, we didn't watch in 2019, but it came out in 2019. I think Kumbalaji Nights could have. Uh, very, that could have. Well. If we would have seen that, we would have had a different answer. I still hold to the fact of why we said Gully Boy could have, because of political reasons and the fact that it has two 
ridiculously huge stars. And, and Priyanka was actually in LA promoting it to a bunch of uh, people in the industry. And so she was trying to get it to do that. But in terms of quality of film, Cobology Nights far surpasses uh, that of Bell and, and that, it's, you have to get Academy members to watch the films. They'll watch it if someone they know tells them to watch it. One of the reasons a lot of people watch Parasite is because Quentin Tarantino is a big, big fan. And he was telling people in the industry, watch this. So if Quentin Tarantino is saying, watch it, people in the industry will watch it. So when you've got people as um, charismatic and internationally known as Alia and Ranveer in such a good film, there was no reason why that couldn't have been a topic of conversation. But as far as the artistic merit, like the quality of a film to watch, if we could have gotten every Academy member to see it. You haven't seen Kumbhology Nights, watch it. Yeah, that's, I know that's a lot of you have that. Covid, which name do you like more? Covid Miles or the bearded, the bearded bastard? <laughs> the bearded, the bearded bastard. bastard. <laughs> that's not professional, man. That's his Game of Thrones name. Yeah. Hi, Rick. Hi, Kobe. Hi. Thank you so much. Hi. I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you. Uh, I just want to know uh, which is uh, your favorite song? Be song? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bollywood song or Hindi song? Ooh. I'm That's trying to, tough. I'm trying to oh, think. Right? Favorite? Yep. Uh, wow. Name it uh, three or five, like top five or okay. something like that. Do you know your turn? Oh, yeah, I got a few right off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, first one is Akhandai Maiga. Okay. Yeah. Um, High Spoiler! High Spoiler! That's not a song. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Um, that, that one, yeah, Afrin Afrin okay. is, a, yeah. is a big deal. When I when I wrote my post about my tattoo, I was listening to Afrin Afrin on loop over and over and over again. Um, and, oh, yeah, uh, he, probably him. More. What? The song from Cholet. What is that one? Mehbooba or something like that. Remember? Remind me? Somebody sing it, go. Lada, is she out there? Mehbooba. Right. Oh, Mehbooba. Oh, yeah, I like that one a lot. No, I, I don't. I think my favorite, at least currently, is. Uh, what's it called, Rick? We haven't seen it. It's from uh, Gulal. Yeah, we reacted to it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, um, the the sound of that one, I, I listened to it. It starts with an A, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've probably been listening to that one more than any other song currently. Uh, and Chaya Chaya, I love Chaya Chaya. I can, he's always doing it. Uh, come on! <laughs> uh, but there's there's so many. I don't I, I don't know if I could pick a favorite, but like there's what? There's a lot of songs from Pastrami Mastanani by Jerome Sunny. Oh yeah. And, and from Padmavat. Both of those was one of the first we had heard that during Holy last year I went insane to that in the car. Yeah. Driving back from our holy. Copyrighted. Yep. Yeah. yeah, copyrighted. Exactly. But yeah, yeah, so it's probably one of those, but there's so many. Uh, but that, I don't know if I can answer correctly. Oh, so you guys have to do what? Um, the, uh, Which one? Uh, 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 what is that? Uh, 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 hi, Rick. Hi, are you? Uh, 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 thank you for all of us for letting you part of your life and you being part of us. Thank you for being part of our life. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't be here without you guys. Like, literally. Uh, literally. You don't know and just a suggestion, I wrote that I can do a Q&A with Vidas. Vidas? Yeah, we want oh, to. We're, he, gonna, we're gonna see him in March. Yeah. We're gonna see him. Well, not like personally see him, we're gonna see the show. No, but he flat out said if we if we watch his special, he'll have a beer with us, so we're gonna hold him to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's at the end of March, he, he's coming to yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah, we're gonna Angeles, go see him. So hopefully we're, we're gonna be there, so. And this be Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Hi again. Hi again. Uh, I can't hear you. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know that you guys are like now an actor, so what can we expect in the Acting wise? Acting wise. I don't know. Uh, ask, ask Michelle Bardwash. <laughs> I'm kidding. He, he hasn't offered me anything. <laughs> But no, uh, we, it's, it's now a dream of ours to act in Indian cinema. Regard, it doesn't have to be Bollywood, obviously. We, we would act, uh, 
we don't know any of the languages, so it's... Yes, we, we would just have to learn it, like I did for Heather, which took a long time. But we would, but we, we would. Um, so, there's nothing in the works. I mean, we have some things planned for the channel that involve yeah. stuff with acting, yeah. but... Um, we're doing more in, in these, We're doing more in kinds of things comparable to, like, the Heather thing that he did. Um, but, yeah, we very much want to... We don't differentiate Indian cinema from Hollywood cinema. It's filmmaking. So, we would... And in many ways, I'd say I'd be a bit more honored, per se, to be included in Indian cinema because of... The white people are so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and sincerely, because I had been in a position of putting it in that position of just Bollywood wishes they were Hollywood. That's what most people think. And then when my eyes were opened, I thought to myself, not only not only is that wrong, but the level... We've seen some of the best filmmaking and, and acting ever in our lives in Indian cinema. And to be a part of that, I don't differ... It's just great cinema. We want them to, we want them to start meshing. Yeah, we'd like to see them cast in the small roles better white dudes. Yeah. <laughs> One last thing. Yeah. I, I what? Some short films? Short films? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I've had one that's been in the works for a long time. It's not years. In, in Indian, but um, it's one that I've been working on for, for, for many, many years. Yeah, and I, if I'm being really honest with myself, I have a lot of ideas that I just need to act on. And one of the reasons I haven't is I've, I, I, like a lot of people who want to do something, but they think about the, the financing to do it, and I've just stopped myself from moving forward with it. I didn't do that with Barbarian, so it makes me wonder why I don't do that with the other thing. So I really should do some stuff. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, so I'm Dhawal. So, uh, yeah, Corbin, um, this question has been troubling me uh, a lot today. So I'm scared. Obviously, you're going to eat today. Yes. So, uh, first question is, uh, did you bring your fork with you today? <laughs> <laughs> I did not, actually. Fork. My fork is not here. Okay, so you are trying to eat something with your hands, right? We, I did. He already did at breakfast. We've already filmed two video, food videos be proud. for this. Uh, so those will be up at some point. Uh, it looks, oh, it's so good. You're gonna... You'll be you'll be proud of Corbin. Yeah. Uh, I think that's good because it'll be, you know, very difficult to eat food. Uh, dal makhani with food. So. Yeah. <laughs> They've all the, made forks everywhere, so that's nice of that. And the second question is, how is the journey with the, the spices going on? The which one? The spices. Oh, um, the breakfast we had this morning was probably the most harmful to my body. <laughs> basically, basically, what you can be prepared for is if it's hot, he tries to talk and goes, well, you know, that was... <coughs> <laughs> we, had to, we had a South Indian breakfast this morning. Oh, uh, I'm... Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we made up for it with some other food later. Like, South yeah. Indian, well, you're in New Delhi, man. What do you <laughs> Is this not South Indian? Like, you get everything here. Indian ice was no Chinese and South Indian everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, we request you to stick to one question first. And if we have time, we'll bring up uh, other questions as well. The man with them, not me. I am not doing any of this. Hi, how are you? Aditya, I've been following you in since. February last year. Okay. And so it's so great to see your journey. My question is, do you guys plan to watch a movie in India while you are in India? Like in the Indian theaters? We we yeah. uh, we would love to. Um, we and Ro Rohan has been trying to help us out. Like there is that what's the longest running SRK film? What's that called? Yeah, 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 you know what it is. But uh, I'm afraid you might find it empty right now because there's no guarantee. But they don't have subtitles in it either. So that's the issue. Uh, we, 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 they even called them and said, can you put subtitles on there? Like, well, we don't want to ruin the experience for the people that want to watch it by putting subtitles on it. And so, if there is, if there's a big enough film uh, that uh, we wanted to watch and it's going to have subtitles, we'd love to. Uh, okay, just one suggestion, watch Kal Hunao whenever you can. Which one? Kal Hunao, it's a Shah Rukh Khan film. Watch it whenever you get a chance. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it has... Shah uh, Rukh Yeah, I really like it. It has Sartaj as well. What? Sartaj! Sartaj! Hey guys. Hi. Shivam. Hi, how are you? Uh, Corbin, uh, I just want you to impersonate Jack Sparrow from... You want, to, yeah, you want me to be Kim Jack Sparrow now? <laughs> Before I was known in Indian cinema, I was known as the Captain Jack Sparrow Vine guy. Woo! <laughs> you guys know that. 
Yeah. That's a deep cut. Hi again. Hi again. Who? I'm Pratham. Uh, I have a question for you, Nick. What's your most uh, embarrassing childhood moment? My most embarrassing childhood moment. Ah, this is the first one that comes to mind. I don't remember what movie we were watching, but something came up in a movie that Indrani and I were watching together, and I said, yeah, that actually happened to me. And it was when I was, in, I was in high school, and there was a girl that I liked who started telling me that there was a guy that she liked, and he doesn't know it yet, and she wanted him to find out. And secretly, I was thinking to myself, it's me. It's going to be me. And so I'm waiting, and I'm like, uh-huh. And she's like, yeah, and I think he's really cute. I'm like, oh, she thinks I'm cute. Yeah, and I think he's really nice. Oh, she thinks I'm nice. So wh what do you think, Rick? Should I talk to Jason? <laughs> oh, my God. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he would find joy in that. That's funny. Hi, Hi. I'm Ranji. Ranji? Ranji? Ranji. Okay, Ranji. Okay. And I'm the guy who forced you to watch like Kumbat multiple times. Kumbat? Kumbat. Yeah. There was a lot of you. Yeah. <laughs> and I came across your channel and I saw the river trailer, but I like uh, another foreigner's channel. Yeah. But then I saw Kumbat, I wanted to do so That's why I was already watching it. My question is like, starting uh, someone said like, Kadibar going to Oscar. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you think you said like Academy should watch? What about those people in India who select those movies like Harry Potter to send and like uh, the recent controversy regarding film fair was 13 or what's the body boy? What do you think you said? So, like about the like ah, sorry. Like about the people sending it? Yeah, yeah. what films they send? And you can see that in they giving 13 awards to Gully Boy, right? It's like I know Gully Boy is my but the fact that that gets awards and like Kumbhala exactly, Janai's or Kumbhala yeah, doesn't. Exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the whole process that India goes through to kind of submit their films. Um, but it probably has to do with money, which the Academy as well does have to do with money. So like, we, we love Kumbhala Janai's, but we're not even sure Kumbhala Janai's could have had enough money to um, promote enough for the Oscars. Because... You have to do a lot of campaigning for your film. You have to campaign. You have to, and what that means so that for that is like money. even screenings. Like you have to like give me an example. Once upon a time in Hollywood, Tarantino's film. For the SAG Awards alone, there were multiple showings of it for Screen Actors Guild members with question and answer sessions following the film with Leo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Constantly, there were none for Lighthouse, yeah. and that's because. The produ producers of Lighthouse don't have the money Quentin Tarantino's productions do. So unfortunately, the ones that get a lot of attention now, we're really ignorant to what goes on with the India and India's award process, system yeah. and the selection process for like Film Fair and the National Awards. Uh, so we really are, don't have much insight as to how they do what they do, but I would hope the why ultimately is because you want to find the best films. Like, the best films on an artistic level, regardless of who started them, who wrote them, because there's a lot of great films being done by people that nobody knows about, and it's very rare, sadly, that those kinds of films don't get seen. What was Udan a selection for the Oscars? No. 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 Yeah, should have been. Yeah, could have been. Thank you for asking my question, and thank you for making my morning stuff. Literally, my phone is when I wake up. The first thing I do is check like, as the video being released. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Uh, it's Swar again. <laughs> so uh, first of all, I'm a big Hollywood fan. So like I've uh, bought like more than 700 Hollywood movies. Nice. And, uh, ever since I've been uh, watching your videos, uh, you have really made me do uh, my uh, back to Hollywood. So, yeah. Ever since I've started watching your videos, I've really been uh, getting into Bollywood again. Yeah. So. Uh, my question uh, for you is, uh, what would be the most uh, funniest moment in any movie that you have ever seen? Funniest moment? Yeah. Woo! Wow. Uh, that's a thinker. The funniest film ever, I think, is Airplane. Okay. If you haven't seen Airplane, it's, oh, it's so good. It's an older Mel Brooks film. 
and it has some of the funniest moments. Yeah, Mel Brooks. Yeah, Mel Brooks is probably one of the, the funniest directors. He's made some of the funniest films of all time. Um, so it's probably, I mean, I don't know. Uh, probably in that film, he, if you haven't seen it, he, he sets himself on people. He's talking about his problems to people on the plane, and they just start slowly like, setting themselves on fire because yeah. they don't want to talk to him. It sounds morbid, but it's hilarious. It does, and it's got <laughs> stupid lines like, he says the plane's gonna crash, and he says, "Surely you can't be serious." And he says, "I am serious, and don't call me Shirley." Um, so or, I can't pick a singular moment. Or something from Anchorman. That film was so yeah. funny. Yeah, Anchorman too, as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. If, I, don't, I can't, I can't I find a singular. I don't know moment. if it's a singular one, but Airplane's my funniest film of all time. I'm, and if you talk about Bollywood, what would be the most funny uh, Bollywood movie? What? Oh, Akshay coming out of the bathtub. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not a, that's not a film, but... Yeah, I mean, the, the Akshay 90s cheese... is the greatest. It's the greatest. It's so amazing. I mean, SRK coming out of the water with the trumpet, the trumpet. was hilarious as well. Um, but yeah, it was probably something from that. I don't... What is the funniest film we've seen? Probably Deli Deli Belly. Right? In terms of comedy? So, so, well, it's, well Street was pretty darn funny. Yeah, there's a... Yeah. I think I probably just two very different, very different things. Stree was dry uh, humor and it was great, but I probably something in Della Belly was probably the funniest in terms of a film that you saw. But in yeah, terms of just everything Bollywood, it, it's Akshay and his cheese. Yes, it has uh, been hilarious. Not the comedy scene that everybody ripped us for when we watched it. Uh, what was yeah, it there's, there's some back there that have. Yes. Yeah. Can I hold the mic, please? Yeah. I can't pass it. the mic. That's a great question. Um, probably, I would probably get rid of Rick on the channel if I had to get rid of anybody. Um, and by the way, whenever he says that he's joking, you all know. So last time he did, when he says Rick quit the channel, I got so many messages. Please don't leave. Why did you leave the channel? Where did, who's got the mic? Where do we go? Okay. This is Gotham. Uh, I've been a long time fan. Gotham? Gotham. <laughs> yeah, that works also. That's an awesome name, Gotham. Hi, I'm Gotham. Sorry, go on. Okay, I've been a long time fan. Mm -hmm. uh, you were the one who pushed me to watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel oh. season two. Uh, that was your first video that I saw, and then you came into the Indian Indian movie the movie. My question is regarding one one of your reaction that is to the movie Anna Anna. <laughs> yeah, that was a very heated debate between you two. This must be for Rick. Yes, I want to ask that question to Rick. Sir, do you still think that a uh, actor who cannot play an instrument <laughs> should he be should he be not allowed to play a role? Can that role not be played by Ranveer Singh or Shahrukh Khan? No, I absolutely justice for no. I have no. I don't have a problem with an actor not being able to play an instrument because that's done a lot where the director and the cinematographer he did will cover the shut up. Will cover the <laughs> they'll cover it so that you don't watch their hands because they can't play. And if you see their hands not <laughs> if you see their hands not playing, it's fine because you don't know what's going on. The thing I had a problem with was obviously the fact that the director was showing the hands of someone who actually did know how to play the instrument, that was clear. But the, the, what he was playing didn't match the sound. Next question. So, uh, <laughs> I had to have a problem with because it takes away the suspension of disbelief. Well, you take away the suspension of disbelief. I again, I, actually coming back to the previous question, he asked that... Uh, Oh, no. He can oh. clearly play. He oh. can clearly play. Yeah. We all agree here that you're an idiot. <laughs> Go on. Hi. So, coming back to his question, which he asked that what was the funniest moment, uh -huh. I still remember you did try not to have challenge with South Indian movies. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. amazing. Those were good. That was, that was a hilarious compilation that they put together. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, that could very well be it. That, uh, the man with the chicken, he was throwing oh, yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, that might be. Yeah, I shoot right. a gun with. We've reacted to. I think somebody sent me called it for us. We've now done like over a thousand videos on the channel. We've done more that's gotten blocked from YRF. But uh, are they here? Are they gonna block this? <laughs> They're gonna get up right now. <laughs> but yeah, that, that might be it. Uh, for the photo suggestion, like Kirit has this tattoo of Abna Time Mai in Hindi. I would suggest you to please have some tattoo in Hindi. That would be amazing. And I I've, I've thought about it. I just haven't thought. Uh, I haven't come up with the right idea yet. 
The what? I don't know if my wife would like that one very much. Hi, Corbin. Hi, Rick. Hi. Hello. Hi, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. So I've been following the challenge since the uh, reaction for Dumbo. Dumbo? Wow. Wow. So, That's early. Yeah. And you were like one of the first hundred people. So that was the first reaction which I saw for you guys. Mm -hmm. Corbin Singh had really did that video on there. My question is, uh, which is the most intriguing sport you've ever seen up till now in India? As in oh, in video sport? form? Cricket. Sport? Yes. Oh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it, it, the, board? the one where you can uh, kick each other. I just, wasn't there a film that just came out? There was, yeah. Was it good? saying it without pause. I would love to play it. Uh, so let's go to a park real quick. And uh, we can play cricket. Yeah, and that's an interesting sport. I'm also, the, I don't, is it, a, it might be a festival, but it seemed like it was a sport where they climbed up on each oh, other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and hit the yogurt. Hit the yogurt. Honda. Yeah. Honda, I mean. That was. <laughs> Thank you so much for us. Awesome. You made a big change in our lives. Thank you. Yeah. You made a big change in our lives too. Thank you. So we have talked a lot about uh, mu your music and your uh, basically movie reactions. So this question is more towards the food reaction. Yeah. So I remember that you had uploaded a video where you reacted for Pani Puri, uh, Haj Mola and Rasgulla. And I agree that Hajmola is something that you do not like it. But uh, we'll all suggest you to try Rasgulla and other desserts uh, like Ras Malai and uh, Cham Cham mm -hmm. uh, here in the streets of Delhi while you are here in Delhi. And definitely you'll like it a lot as compared to because those are frozen foods and here you can eat them fresh. So definitely it will not be more yeah. of a sponge and you'll like them. Yeah, so it's just a suggestion. We've already done a uh, street food video here uh, and it was the best street food we've had and there's certain things that I've hated in past videos that I actually loved and so you can guess what that would be yeah uh, but yeah so there, and then we have much more videos planned uh, for everywhere we're going so we're gonna uh, we're gonna do more we're videos here we're gonna do more alcohol videos of course uh, but then Punjabi food we're gonna do stuff in Jaipur and then if we have time yeah, so we're going to be ready to see him on Bajabi. Bajabi, sorry. Bajabi, I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't hurt me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, and we would love if you can come again with your entire family. Yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Once the baby's older. That's a long fly for him. Hi, Rick. Hi. Hi. Yeah. And that person who asked you on your YouTube comment that uh, do you guys live that lavish life in LA with uh, a million dollar income? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worth 16 well, million, bro. Uh, actually, do you want to tell them what you told me in the airport yesterday about that? No. Well, it's related. No. Alright. Yeah, I want to add a question. Uh, when are you releasing your top 10 favorite Hollywood movie uh, list that you said that you are going to release? Did we do that? No, Hollywood. Our top 10 Hollywood. Hollywood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I've been so focused on yeah, this. Yeah, we were talking about that around the Oscars, weren't we? Yeah. Um, I, we can do that when we get back. Yeah, I'll, do that. For two point oh has been uh, neglected when since I've been preparing for coming here. So and top, um, top ten favorite and top ten greatest. Like you said, that movie yeah. that a great it might not be that we like that. Yeah, it's right. Very, it's very different. Yeah, that list. But yeah, yeah, I can definitely we can because uh, that's something that we have to sit down and obviously write down because I don't know it off the top of my head. No, but uh, we can definitely do that when we get back. I have a list that I keep track of my favorite films. It's like 300 something that I keep a list of. So I have to, out of those 300 something, I have to pick 10. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, hi. This is Anshu Ali. Yeah. Hi. So I have one question that uh, you both have been around for a while. You, uh, you are in, around since World War II, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, you're right. <laughs> Uh, you might have le uh, learned or heard about many countries across the globe. So, what was it about India that uh, India stuck to you the most? Um, one, I, th I think India was more uh, by accident that yeah. it happened. Uh, so, I think it was more India coming to us 
than us going out and finding uh, something. But it was it was you you guys. Yeah. Like uh, I have lots of friends who are influencers, um, and I've seen like the fan the fans that they have. But it's there. There's nowhere near the amount of love. And so that that I think that intrigued us from the beginning. The amount of love that you guys just give, um, just because we reacted to a, a trailer, and then we dealt more and more, and then we fell in love with the, the culture and, and the whole of India. And so that's that's I think what that kept us coming back was you guys and just oh, 100%. The, the, the vast amount of artistic talent uh, and stuff that that came out. Like when we got to meet Zakir Hussein, who had no idea who the man was. Uh, but now we can't think that we ever didn't know him. Right. Uh, so yeah, I think that would be influence is Yeah, it's a combination of the artistic quality as well as, as can't say enough about the connection we have with all of you. Uh, because it's not, even like this morning we had breakfast with a handful of stupid babies that it, it's family. Um, and the messages that we get from everybody, it's not fans, it's, it's family. That feeling of family. And for me, as I as I look back at my life, it's very intriguing to me. It's it's almost providential in the way that India has seen to thread its way in my life without me even realizing it. Like I recently just recently remembered that my aunt Judy was married to a gentleman named Partha, who actually is Indian, and I didn't I had totally forgotten that. So there's been this interesting. I didn't even realize connection in many, many ways, but we in no way, shape, or form, when we reacted to Gully Boy, we thought, sure, why not react to a film that's not from America and add more content to our channel? No way could we have envisioned or even planned or thought what happened has happened. And, and statistically, for YouTube channels, what we all have together with this is not usual. Uh, the growth of the channel as quickly as it's grown and the connection that we all have together and the way so many of you, even today, said the, the way you've been in really hard places and this was like the bright spot for you and made you happy or reconnected you to your culture. The thought of us being able to be a way you've reconnected to your own culture is like a tremendous honor that we feel we don't even deserve. So. Yeah, it's this is no way we could have planned. Yeah, no. Uh, Corbin, one question for you. You said uh, your favorite song is Aram from Gulal. Yes. So, do you know what the lyrics of that song? Mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> I strongly recommend. If you know the lyrics of that song, you won't ever feel down again in your life. Yeah. 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 I won't. Just I'll, search for it. I'll look it up. <laughs> I hate white people. I hate <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. I'm from Jaipur. I'm in Mansu. I prepared an itinerary for you in my letter. I, I'd like to, if you check that out in my letter. Yes. And I like your joke that in today's vlog, I like your mother. In, in your today's vlog, I like your joke. Oh, thank you. He had yeah, a mom joke in the vlog. Yeah, mom joke. Yeah, we don't do those. Yeah, we don't do those at all. Yeah. Then uh, you react to SRK movies. I like for the meat content. I like to. I, I want to. You to react to KRK. <laughs> <laughs> for the meat content. KRK, the SRK film. Different, different. Both are different. Is this proof? Go ahead, put it on the list. <laughs> and in the earlier vlog, uh, in your live stream, you talked about cricket match in Delhi. Yeah. So are you organizing that uh, um, for the cricket match? Oh, like for the Super Babies? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I would love it. I just don't know, like, because we had to, since we, there's so many of you guys, we had to actually um, uh, book this place uh, because we didn't know if we could have so many people like in a park at one time without being shut down. And so I didn't know, like, I didn't know if like, if we went to a, a place to play cricket, if the police would just come and shut us down. So that's that's why we're meeting here as opposed to the park. I would love to. So if anybody has 
if they might cricket later, you can let us know. Because I would still love to. But yeah. And I can suggest a tattoo for you. A tattoo? Uh, beep you do uh, do beep no. Beep you dog beep what? <laughs> yes. That's what it should be, that beep you dog beep to. Well, I didn't hear that, I'm sorry. Atiti Devo Bhava in Hindi and Padharo Mare Des in Marwadi Adisani language. I think this tattoo should be exactly where you had Nawazuddin on the underwear on your butt. That's actually it should be it should be Nawaz's face right there. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, your wife would love that. Yeah, she would. She likes Nawaz. Hi. Corbin! Hi! Now that you are in India, yeah. would you go by Corbin kilometers? <laughs> oh! oh. I've seen that comment at the top of a lot of comment sections. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. You know they're the only country in America that's not on the metric system? America? America's Wait, pretty... you mean you think we're doing something stupid? No. We don't do anything wrong. Metric system, we drive on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, you guys are crazy drivers here. We don't consider it. We are GTA. Yeah. Hello, Corbin. Hi. What are your plans for the Holy Day? Like, have you decided any place or something? I, I don't know if we have decided a place yet. I know. Have we? We'll be in Mumbai. We know that. Okay. No, we haven't. That's okay. all we know. But we, it's in the works. We're trying to figure out. I think one of the options was actually celebrating with the. Uh, a couple kids at an orphanage at one point as well, uh, playing with. Oh. Uh, so that'd be cool. Uh, maybe do that and then go play with stupid baby somewhere. It's still in the works because there's a lot of stuff going on in uh, Mumbai, like right after we land. Um, but yeah, we're. Uh, I know we're doing the bonfire the night before. Yeah. But I, I don't know where. You know, are those everywhere? The bonfires. No? And okay. have you been invited to any big fat wedding in the Delhi? No, we haven't been invited to a wedding yet, and I'm very upset about it. <laughs> so somebody be, somebody get married. There must be someone getting married. Yeah, this yeah there, I've had invitations that have been sent, but they've never been yeah. in around. If anybody get married while, while we're here, yeah, well, please yeah. let us know. We would love to. Hi, Corbin. Hi. 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 Uh, my name is Jayan, and I have nothing to ask you, but I have to tell you something. Okay. Uh, Rick, I love you more than Corbin. <laughs> Corbin, you are a toothy people. No. What? I didn't get the joke. What was it? I can't hear that. What do you say? I didn't hear it. Uh, it's a joke. Uh, I, I, you said I'm a PT person? No, no, no. The guy mentioned KRK. Oh. Uh, he's the biggest superstar in India. And, uh, <laughs> This is his line to the people. Uh, so. He's the old Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What? And you saw Yankee hat. Rick, I'm really happy for you and Indrani. And. Uh, oh. Wait, are you dating somebody? <laughs> I, I didn't know. Uh, Corbin, congratulations. You just had a son. Oh, thank you. Uh, he's really cute. Yes, he is. And, uh, I agree. I'm also happy for Ashley as well. Yes. And uh, my two favorite videos are not your reaction videos, but the 500k celebration. What was that one? The 500k celebration. Oh, was that the thug? No, no, no. No, the 500k celebration. It's all the on the butt, okay. Yeah, the on the butt. There's so many, they all blur together. And uh, when you both and Michael went to play cricket. Yeah, oh, that was fun. It was, uh, no, it's pretty good. <laughs> the, the boys play well. That's <laughs> right. Hi, Corbin. Hi. Jason here. I can't see. There you go, I see you now. Uh, since you have watched Kumaraji Nights, uh, how often are you going to watch other language movies? Uh, we we, uh, we talk <laughs> about it all the time. We get, uh, obviously, we get accused of only watching Bollywood stuff. And uh, that's not, it's not a bias at all, it's just what was requested most usually. And, and, also and availability. Availability. Uh, They're just easier to find. I'm trying to do it more often now, at least, like, if we do two a week, one to be a, a something other than Hindi, and then do a Hindi one. So I'm trying to do something like that. Um, so we, we, I'm trying. There's, there's been more. so many times 
where we have mentioned a non-Hindi film and said, okay, let's watch that. And then he's messaging me saying, it's not on Netflix, it's not on Amazon, I can't even find it on Eros, I don't know what we're going to do, so let's just watch this. And we choose a Hindi film because we want to do a review. So it, we talk about it all the time. We want to be as balanced as we possibly can and, and represent as much of it as we can. So it's it's important to us. Yeah. Who was Vikram Veda? I guess you had the DVD of it. Which one, Rick? Vikram Veda. Oh, Vikram Veda. You like the song? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that song too. That's one of my favorites as well. Yeah. We will. Thank you. Hi again. Hi. Right. I need you to pronounce some of the organized names which we have heard. So have you learned how to pronounce Aishwarya Rai Bachchan now? Oh. Ashwarya Rai Bachchan? Yeah. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. It's because you just said it. Though. It's because you just said it. It's not Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. Oh, did I say that? Sorry. <laughs> He's gotten so much better. Doing header killed Corbinization. Shahid Kapoor? Shahid Kapoor? Because oh, I yeah. said uh, Shahid, Shahid Kapoor at the beginning. There were so many funny things. Yeah. <laughs> and Dil Daktuna, it's, it's Dil Dhadakne. No, it's, it's Dil Daktuna. <laughs> <laughs> and it will forever be Swades. And Deborah. And Deborah. And Bagai. And Bagai. And 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 Pastrami Mastanani. Pastrami Mastanani. That might be my favorite. That might be my favorite. Pastrami Mastanani. That's a good one. Hi, Rico. Nabeep here. Hi. Hi. So, thank you for changing our lives and our money. Thank you. Thank you. When are you giving the giveaway of that mystery box you bought? The what? The mystery Bollywood box you bought. Mystery box. Oh, mystery box. Oh, what was the question about the mystery box? Sorry. Are you going to give away that? Uh, am I going to give away that? Yeah. Sure. If anybody wants a Girls of Kama Sutra, we can have that. Because uh, we have not watched that one yet. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, that was a. Uh, you should just. They scammed me for thirty dollars. We sure. should do a thumbnail that says review. <laughs> I think that would get blocked would immediately. Get blocked. Uh, but no, yeah, well, I'll probably end up. Uh, there's like two salvageable ones from what I hear in that entire. There's five or six, yeah. But yeah out of the rest I'll put in a mystery box and sell it for $30. So that's probably what happened with that one. Hi. 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 Uh, two actors you would like to see against Daniel De Lewis and Meryl Street. Hey, from in India. India? Oh, uh, Nawaz and Siddiqui, Nawaz, 100%. Yeah, and, and, well, yeah, well, there's a bunch, obviously. Uh, but you said Meryl Streep and Denny D. Lewis? Okay, uh, so Nawaz, of course. Uh, Irfan Khan might be up there for sure. Uh, a female actor. A female. Uh, yeah. I got uh, the, the ones that come immediately to mind, for me, female, they just instantly all fly in my head. There's four of them all at once. Well, five. Which is like you can't pick a favorite one, but I've got five that instantly fly away. Kalki, uh, Kalki, yeah. Tabu, Priyanka, Katika, and Alia. Yeah. yeah. And the movie, f because of which Oran was rejected, was Deeply Life. The one about the farmers of yeah. India. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hear people love that film too, so you're really good, it. right? We've got it on DVD. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Hey guys. Hi. Uh, so, my question was, when are you going to watch your next series? <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> We've talked about we that actually, a lot. I, I meant to watch an entire series before we before left. Before we left. Uh, but we didn't get to it, because obviously series take a lot more time because of how it's done. So we sit there and watch the entire thing, and then it takes me forever to edit that thing. And then it also takes forever to upload it because it's such a big file. Yeah. So yeah, probably when we get back, It'll probably be either uh <laughs> Family Man. Yeah, it's we well, had Manoj Bajpai yeah, who was in Gangs of Family Man, uh Delhi Crimes, Delhi Crimes. As, yeah. as well as I've heard and then Mirza Pur, Mirza Pur. Yeah, I've heard yeah, that so it'll be one of those. Yeah. Uh three. Um I don't know which one. But I know after Jabby did his uh Family Man one, yeah. that's all we got requests for. And so who knows? I, it, it's going to be one of those, probably when we get back. Hey, hey, just to even the odds at the beginning, Corbin, I love you more than Rick. Thank you, <laughs> of course. So you're a smart man. Yeah. So, uh, it's, I know. It's been almost a half Such a cool.
Corbett passed. Yeah, it's been almost uh, one and a half years since the channel began. Yeah. And since then, we have never seen you without a beard. So when is that going to happen? But I not have a not. I haven't had. You posted a picture of you on yeah. one reaction, and you actually said something about a scene we were going to do. It's probably it's so we're probably, a scene that you shaved for. I will never just do it because I much prefer having a beard. As does his wife. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in fact, yeah, but there's a video that's not on the channel. Anyways, um, but the it's probably when I get a role that requires me to shave. Um, we, we talked about doing a scene together that would require him to do that, and he, his first thought was, of course. But I, so I, a role, I, I look like a baby. It takes 10 years off him. Yeah. <laughs> My question for Rick, uh, my father is almost your age. Yeah, so what anti-aging tips would you give him? <laughs> <laughs> anti-aging tips? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, one, part of it is genetics for me. Like, when I was 14, I looked 9. Um, and when I was 21, I looked 12. So, um, but sincerely, it's this, it's really, this is like really simple. Moisturize. Eat, eat, eat right and exercise. And then above all is just stay being a kid. I think that's a huge contributor to long life and staying, feeling and looking young, is never losing being a kid. Even if other people are making fun of you for being stupid or immature, and, I'm not gonna stop being a kid. So, hey, yeah, just please, please do that. Hello. Yeah. Hey, my name is Jatinpi. Uh, Hi. My question is to both of you uh, that you guys react to so many things like movie, book, songs, sports, cricket, stand-up comedy. I thought it was stand-up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same dumb joke every so, time. So. Which is your favorite? Out of all these, which one is your favorite? Songs, probably. And well, it depends. I, if there's a really good trailer that gets you excited, but actually, probably movie reviews, honestly. Movie reviews. Um, but then songs, because if you get a really fun song, it's just fun. Like if you, you don't. Uh, it, how's it? Yeah, man. Is that how that song's pronounced? Yeah. Yeah. And so when you get that, it's just so fun. To, uh, Big B has a lot of those when it's with his older stuff. Um, and I mean, so, come on, watching somebody like Scotty Scott who's saying, yeah. do what he does is just, it's just transcendent. Yeah, it's, it's hard to answer, but there's probably more songs that we just, it's it just, it's easy to react to, because if it's a really good song, it's so good, but sometimes with trailers, especially old ones, you can't tell how a film is until you guys tell us uh, that it's good. If, it, if it's like an old trailer, the trailers are sometimes just really bad. Um, but With songs you don't know, I guess those are lyrics of the song. Yeah, but that's one of the yeah. things about music. You don't actually need to know the lyrics to appreciate the song. It makes it, it heightens it, of course, uh, to know the lyrics. But you don't actually, that's why music is so awesome. Yeah. Well, what about you, Rick? Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm Shruti. And I just want to tell you that I love you guys so much. Love you just too. a silly question. Why are you guys obsessed with each other's mother? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a. It's a. It's. I think it's more an American thing. It's just. And yeah, it's like the the, the ultimate insult you could ever say in like junior high and high school. If you're getting in a fight with somebody, it starts to escalate. And then when you start to insult their mom, that's like that's it. Like you don't insult their mom. I don't but, know when we started doing. Yeah, that. but and obviously we're joking. Fully. Yeah, <laughs> we we're totally joking. Um, and we we know that. It's because so it's like the most insulting thing you could say. Yeah. And we like to insult each other. Insult each other. The problem is you guys start with moms. <laughs> Pun intended. You start with moms. Now it's going to be death. It's going to be. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Next question. How you do? Uh, my name is Branchi. Hi. Hi. So I remember watching your video for Holi last year, and I got really excited about it. There's a bunch of partners who love Holi, and I'm like now experiencing it. How surreal is it? How surreal is it? Like last year, you were just introduced to Holi, and this year you can get it in there. Yeah, we uh, we said it in that video that we want to for I think or at least. I think it was that day when we reacted all the songs last year when we were in color that we said we wanted to celebrate Holy in India and it's happened. It's happening. Which was awesome. I don't think it's fully um, 
settled in because we're maybe on the ninth and tenth it'll become real because obviously I don't know what to expect with playing Holy in India but I'm assuming it's going to be more intense than what we did I can tell you just today I when we were waiting for stuff to take place I was talking to Indrani and I said I it boggles my mind, and I mean that. This is exactly what I said. I said, it boggles my mind, and I'm not using those words to be hyperbolic or try to over-exaggerate. It's mind-boggling to me that that picture of Corbin and I is taken from when we played Bully. And so now here we are, it's a year later, and we're doing a meet and greet in New Delhi, and the stupid babies went to all of this to do this. Um, it's it truly is astonishing. Yeah. I don't I can't put it into words. It's the most incredible blessing. As much as you guys say to us, and we say it all the time, as much as you say to us that you guys have had your lives changed by OSR, we've had our lives permanently changed by you. Uh, so yeah, this is like living in an alternate reality or like I almost said it to Corbin on the elevator today. I said We've had this conversation. Would you have imagined when we were back in San Antonio and I was teaching and you and Stephanie were students and somebody said to us, hey, in 15 years, you guys are gonna have a YouTube channel with 700,000 subscribers and you're gonna, it's gonna be Indian content and you're gonna be in India. We, uh, we would have said, no, I wouldn't have believed it. What are you talking about? So yeah, it's unbelievable. With Holi, there's a tradition that uh, if there's a couple, they get to apply color to each other first. Nobody else does that. Oh, is that really right? Glad, I'm really glad that you'll get to do that with Idrani this year. I'm glad? Is that? I didn't know that. That makes sense. Is that true? We've seen lots of uh, movies where like they don't touch the girl until the guy's there. Okay, so we have I was wondering why that was. Thank you for the information. Yeah. They did that because you were saying, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you for telling that. That's awesome. They did yes. They did that Saira too. Yeah. yeah, the fact that she could be here was hey guys. wonderful. Hi. Hi. So I'm a huge fan of both Tom Hanks and Amir Khan. And I'm eagerly waiting for Lal Singh Chadda. And I just want to know your take, your take on Lal Singh Chadda. Forrest Gump Dreaming. Oh, gotcha. Um, on what? I, I think he's asking, what, are we excited for the Indian version of Forrest Gump. Yes. Um, yes. Very. The one we love, uh, Amir Khan. Um, and we, uh, like, I think I've explained it in the video when I think it was our most anticipated video. It's like, if you would have said there's a remake of Forrest Gump in Hollywood, we would have been 100% uh, not interested in it. Uh, but the fact that it's in India, it's with Amir Khan, who is a great casting for a uh, Indian Tom Hanks, honestly. But the fact that it's going to be such a different story just because it's in India. Um, we're, we're on board for it and we're, yeah. we're hoping for it. That's um, one of the great things. We're not big fans of remaking something, especially if we feel it was done right the first time. But the beautiful thing about something like Forrest Gump is that you can make it and contextualize it and it will be a different telling of the story if it's done right. So, yeah, and he's I think he's perfectly cast. We love the photo we saw of him. So, yeah, really excited for it. Namaste, guys. Namaste. Namaste. Up, up here, just walk at it. We have seen a lot of the Oscar predictions for the past year. I've paid the least amount of attention to UFC ever in my life. But you have said a couple of times that you're a fan. I am. I'm a huge fan of MMA and a huge fan of um, the UFC in particular. So that fight, I honestly don't know. So we would like to have your attention on that. Okay. Should I do that? All right. I don't know if that'll get blocked because, like, like with cricket, we've done cricket. It could be highlights. It could oh, that be. thing got blocked so fast. Hi guys, this is Anurag. Hello. Uh, we both have a good morning. So uh, every day. And uh, I don't have any questions. But uh, I want to say 
The what? Isn't it chutzpah, Rick? It is chutzpah. You say the high way. What chutzpah? It's a good word. Okay, guys. So this is going to be the last couple of questions. After that, anyone who hasn't gotten their pictures taken or haven't gotten the chance to pick them gifts, they can do that, and then we wrap up the. So oh. anyone has questions? Also, I want to thank uh, wait, Rohan and our entire stupid baby team uh, because this would not have happened. Um, and also, you need to thank the entire group for the entire channel because they're the ones that keeps this channel running. Um, so, thank them. And also send in your requests. <laughs> and, and, for, and for them here at Select City Walk. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, Hi, Corbin. Hi. Hi. Uh, one thing I'd like to appreciate that doesn't get appreciated enough is your editing skills, Corbin. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. I wish they were better sometimes. Uh, you are learning. Thank you. Always keep learning. Everybody, uh, always keep learning. Uh, I'd like to ask you, you watch a lot of uh, Hollywood stuff and movie series, everything. Uh, any Indian references you just caught upon after stumbling upon the uh, Indian reactions? In Hollywood in yes. particular? Yeah. The what? Any Have Indian you picked up on any Indian references or allusions or hints or? Well, yeah, um, I, I watched uh, 1917. Uh, yeah, and that's a great example. It was. I, I noticed right away that there was actually a sick representation in the war that one we didn't know until the channel that they were a massive part of um, that war um, and and their obviously warrior uh, ancestry, but. Uh, I wouldn't have picked up on the fact that that was even a reference to what actually happened, even though it was just one guy and there was a lot more than one guy. Um, but yeah, that, that was something I wouldn't have picked up on it before the channel. Not at all. And even watching older films now, I'm going back and seeing some films that I hadn't seen in a long time, and I'm noticing, for example, I can't remember what film it is, but there's this board meeting, and at the, at the meeting is someone who is definitively Indian. And their diversity is a big deal in Hollywood. That's like the key word right now for casting in people, is diversity. And one group that is still way underrepresented in Hollywood it, are Indians. Uh, really, and, and that's why we are wanting to see people, like really happy Rithik just signed with the Gersh Agency, yeah. to see him actually start to penetrate Hollywood. Do you, guys, do you guys know who Rithik is? <laughs> He's got great underwear. Yeah, he does. Thank you, appreciate that. Okay, last three questions. So there were four six, but they were kept in a separate. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Start with the. Uh, got it. Got it. Yes. I'm aware now. Hello, sir. Uh, hello, hello, Corbin. Hello, Hi. Uh, I am a huge fan of Govinda. Okay. And uh, for the last two decades, uh, <laughs> for the last uh, two, two decades, uh, he is doing very few movies. Uh, and he has, I think, he is done. Uh, and I, uh, I am missing a lot. But uh, after seeing, especially you, Nick, after uh, watching your videos, uh, I always remember Govinda because uh, Govinda is very much like me, uh, not physically, but uh, uh, Govinda dances like you, Govinda uh, entertained that like you. So, uh, made more more videos of Govinda. So okay. Yes. Yeah. We we actually. Uh have and I have a uh, I, I created a, created a DVD for you uh -huh. on Govinda songs. Oh, cool! Just for you. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, for you, um, I just bought the comic books because uh, actually I wanted some DVDs. Uh, I wanted to uh, buy some DVDs for you, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah. Because it's very rare DVDs. Yeah. And uh, uh, one thing, uh, one last uh, suggestion for you that. Uh, it's not the golden era, era of uh, Bollywood, that modern era. The golden era was 50 and 60s. Yeah. And you have so many DVDs of uh, 50 and 60s around, Gurudat DVDs, Gurudat movies and Raj Kapoor movies. So I suggest you uh, focus on, yeah, create more videos on the 50 and 60s movies. Yeah. Especially on Raj Kapoor, uh, Gurudat, Vishanta Ram. Uh, 
I think that time uh, music was fantastic, actors were fantastic, everything was up to the mark. Yeah. Uh, today is now okay. It's mixed. Uh, music. It's uh, today. Today music. I'm, I'm not a big big fan of today's music. Yeah. It's just okay. Yeah. But at that time everything was great. Everything. Actors, music, songs, lyrics, everything. Oh, check it so, out. and uh, for final uh, last. Uh, when I wake up every day. Every day I wake up. I just play. I just uh, watch your video and then go to bed. Thank you so much. I, uh, last year uh, I was so I was suffering uh, from depression and uh, suffering from my personal issues. But now now I'm feeling much better just because of you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's why I'm saying uh, I remember Govinda when I'm seeing uh, you guys. You entertain all of us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you very much. And also on Govinda, we actually have a lot of his stuff gets blocked, and so it's on Patreon. If there's any Patreon babies here, uh, there's quite there's I think two currently that are that got blocked, and one they were one was uh, really good. What was it? Which one? Huh? What she said. Oh yeah. Anyways. Hello guys. I'm Dipesh. Hi, Dipesh. I'm your big fan. I never tried to meet any celebrity, but I especially came all around from Ghazabad, that is uh, around 30 kilometers distance. Oh, wow, and, thank you. And uh, I have a session. Recently, you, uh, you started to uh, introduce to new uh, to singers of Bollywood, like Lata Mangeshkar and Red Yasudas. I want uh, I want you to uh, watch, our, watch songs of, especially of one person, that is Great Muhammad Rafi. He was a great singer of Bollywood. Muhammad Rafi. Muhammad Rafi. He gave real identity to playback singing in Bollywood. Okay. Before the, before him, playback singing was done by actors, but he was he was the man who bring playback singing in a good way in Bollywood, and he was the best. So please, yeah, he was okay. Okay. Songs are evergreen. Gotcha. Cool. Please. Huh? What do you say? Oh, you know what? You bring up, but that reminds me. I want to get to your question. That's one of my favorite things about, like, a year ago. Well, maybe a little over a year ago, we didn't know who Street Every was. And I'm just using her as an example, right? And how now, I not I not only know about her and how talented and important she was. My kids know who Street Every is. And their kids are going to know who Sri Devi is, and that's one of my favorite things about this is that it's not only getting you guys excited about what you remember, but it's introducing the things that you love that are of value to us who didn't even know, which means the legacies of these people won't die because we're spreading them and sharing them. So, like, yeah, I'm Tak Pak Tan. So you said I'm Tak Pak My name is Amit. I'm it, and I have skipped my office, and I came to do it. How many of you skipped something today? Look at you, animals. None of you had exams. They did. They skipped them. Yeah. So anyway, Rick, you have been here in India earlier, and probably this is your first time here in India. So my question is for Robin: How is your first expression? Uh, for your first experience you were uh, getting in, in India. In India? And uh, for uh, Ray, uh, how do you feel the difference between in Kolkata and in, and in Delhi? Yeah. What's the difference in between them? We do. Uh, not been here very long yet, um, but I, I absolutely love it so far. It's, um, I think. Different than I expected, obviously, uh, but also exactly what I expected. I don't know if that, that, that doesn't make sense. Those are two completely different, complete yeah. different things. Uh, but it's it's really, really pretty, and it's so unique and so different from anything I've ever oh, uh, in any country I've ever been in. Um, and that's just the, the the beauty of it. And we've not gone to see anything yet. We've just been in the city. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward to actually going and. Seeing the different sites in Delhi and then Amritsar and uh, Jaipur. Jaipur? Yeah, okay. 
No, I was saying something wrong. Uh, but yeah, Punjab. Punjab. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, that makes a lot of sense what you said, even though yeah. you didn't think it made sense. Uh, there's a lot that's similar and a lot that's different just for the, the day that we've been here. The first thing, and this is going to sound weird at first, maybe, I don't know. I mean what I'm about to say in a very uh, uh, affirming way. The, when we stepped off the plane, and I, could, I smelled for the first time, Calcutta has a very unique smell. And I love it because it reminds me, whatever it is, I don't care if it, it, it might be goes. pollution. It could be pollution that's causing it. I just know it has a particular smell. And that's exactly what Indrani had said at first. He said it probably is a big contributor. But I remember walking off the plane and I said to Corbin, I went, it smells like Calcutta. I said, wow, that must just be India. And it's, uh, there's a, just driving through the city, there's a lot that reminds me of Calcutta, but there's also a lot that is very different so far. And I, my guess is that's the way it is all over that everywhere you go, you're gonna feel like you're in India, but it's gonna have its unique thumbprint for that region, where the people, they'll look Indian, but they're gonna look like that part of India. And the, the, the food, and the, everything will feel Indian, but it's gonna feel like that region. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. When are you uh, feeling like the uh, honking? Are you <laughs> the honking? No, no, actually, I was trying to describe it. I said, you guys actually, for the most part, have nice honking. Uh, there, yeah, there, there's, like, there's a there's a lot of it. It's road runner honking. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, and in LA, there's a ton of people in LA, but and there's less honking, but there's a, still a lot. But it's angry honking, so it's like more of an F U honk as opposed to just yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, so no, it's not, it's not too different. LA has, has a ton of traffic. It is the the driving experience is different for me. Um, because apparently there's no rules, uh, but it's it's it actually looks fun to drive in. If I do. right, it yeah. does because you could be very could be very aggressive. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, the last question, and after this you can follow the line to get a, get a bit of a Yeah. Sorry, we only have a time. Yeah, sorry. It's me again. Calling is the one. I have a question for you, that if you get a chance to get a proper interview of any Bollywood actor <laughs> and an actress, <laughs> um, um, our, For actor for both of us, I think we would both say without question, the one, I mean there's a, there's a bunch that I would love to talk to, but as far as the person that we've been most impressed with, as far as the craft of acting, it would be Nawaz. Yeah, there's Nawaz, uh, Ranveer, um, Big, uh, B. Big B, Big of course. B. My goodness. Uh, uh, yeah. So there, there's Shahid. Well, right here, Shahid's my best friend. So, um, but I, I talk to him all the time. Craft? No, no, we text a lot. No, was Yeah. And then actress? Did you say? Yeah, actress. Well, for for me, sincerely, Priyanka. Um, probably, probably Kalki or is it Kangana Rao? Ra uh, yeah. Even though we haven't watched as much as her, but I, I know her her reputation, uh, for how, how how much people love her and how, how good she is, and so probably one of those two for females. Yeah, and my, my main thing with aside from obviously what I saw her do in Barfi and what I think she's capable of doing on an artistic level, I've talked a lot about how I see she can be one of the most influential people to help continue to build the bridge between America and Indian cinema. I'd really love to hear her talk about that in depth, like what her heart and goal is for her to do whatever she can to keep that bridge growing. So, thank you so much, guys. We really guys, appreciate this. This thank is you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What happened? Um, Rick, do you have a question? No, do you? No. No. What's how, how, how's the job? How's the job? How's the job? How's the job?